the network. And then TikTok star Addison Ray is the latest on the Spotify exclusive podcast conveyor belt. Um, they obviously, they already got Joe Rogan and they've already got Michelle Obama. And now they've got the second biggest TikToker on the planet. So all signs pointing towards an absolute powerhouse for um, the podcast on Spotify. The Netflix of audio uh, mantle looks like it's well on the way to go in their way. Yeah, they're killing it, man. I, like I mentioned to you earlier, the most interesting part about this for me is when you take this fledgling TikTok uh, star culture, the two platforms that so many of them are going to, YouTube and Spotify, but they're going to Spotify for artists traditionally. But when mm-hmm. you take that level of influence on the platform and make a podcast with it, you're going to start having a lot of kids listen to podcasts. And that is not a normal behavior, all right? The primary behavior of kids to just listen to podcasts. And so it's really going to open the door for people to listen that would never listen before, not only age-wise, but even from an entertainment standpoint, because that's been happening. That's been happening like as a whole, where podcasts really, in so many ways, had more of this informational, very conversational, boring, you know, educational association with it. You've been seeing more and more entertainment podcasts and, and creative approaches to them where they're almost telling stories, which is actually a throwback. You know, everything is reinvented itself. I used to listen to like Radio Disney when I was a kid and they would just be telling stories on the radio. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, um, like when they're doing, when, so when you have an Addison Ray, who knows, it's probably gonna get, get they're gonna have more and more people and just her influence alone is gonna put it in a standpoint where other TikTokers are gonna wanna do it, whether Spotify signs them or not, right? They're yeah, going to want to yeah, have yeah. their own podcast. So that climate is really, it's going to get very interesting. Um, like a lot of them already use Spotify, but the fact that it has the potential to truly impact behavior and make podcasts uh, a thing thing, this is, yes, if you haven't gotten the game, it is it's like, yeah, okay, Joe Rogan was in it for like 10, 11 years or whatever. It's like, yes, you should have established if you wanted to cash out and look at it as a cash cow, because because uh, podcasts take time to build, but there's still a lot of growth in this podcast thing that's got to that's to come. This obviously also excites the investors in Spotify because they're now experimenting with you know rolling out the video adverts and videos on the platform, so that's going to increase their revenue, yeah, increase their profitability. So this is a real next step now for Spotify to really start making some some profit because of this you know all the ad options now. There you go. Profit, profit, profit. I'm telling you, man, like that's how I know. Like artists, look, man, y'all know Spotify wasn't the best in the world for you. You weren't completely happy. Don't expect it to get much better. Because if <laughs> I was running a company based on the things I'm seeing, like I'm like, I wouldn't care about artists either. From that standpoint, not do you like music and all the happy, like the no, just from a strictly business standpoint, my focus would not be artists based on the opportunity they have at hand. Like, that, go, that just makes me laugh because we go back to when Daniel Ek, the CEO, made a statement that he wants, like, it's all about the artists. We want a million artists to live off Spotify. And that whole, that's the whole, that still remains just the company ethos, the company vision. But yeah. no signs really point towards that. There's been no more real, like, notable artist features other than that COVID 19 fundraiser <laughs> pick that um, really left a lot to be desired. Um, and that's been the only thing, like, uh, haven't seen, you know, the, the ad market's not been opened up for, you know, the smaller smaller artists. You still can't pay to have advertise on there. So, yep. Hey, it's I not mean, a priority. That's the thing about business. As the climate changes, new opportunities arise at any time. A shift can and will happen uh, when it comes to those mission statements, right? <laughs> yeah, and that's why it's a shame that Rezo is being installed as well. It's the network. Thank you.